All right, how's it going, guys? It's Aiden here from Crazy AGM, and today I just want to talk about England to England football team. Um, they played against Estonia on Friday night, and I went to see that. And uh, I'll put the vlog up, the like in a separate video after this video. So I'll put the rant up about it, and then I'll put a few clips that I recorded whilst I was at Wembley on Friday night. Um, yeah, it, they won two 0 uh, Goals from Walcott and Sterling. Uh, you could say well work goals, but I'm still convinced after being at the game that Walcott was offside. I mean, I've never watched it back, um, so I, I don't really know what the camera said, but let's be honest. I've been told by people who were watching the game on TV that it was boring. I mean, at being at the game, you obviously get the atmosphere, and from you can see live football, it's like playing played in front of you, so it's not that boring boring it's quite it's quite fun actually because I had a friend and I was talking about the game to him so it's it's it a social game um, but what I'm trying to say is we're in a group that's got San Marino and we've got Estonia I mean Switzerland is the biggest force in that Switzerland okay some people could only name like a few players Shakiri. that's some people could only name that okay from the Swiss team for a team to be good, you can most people can name like the full side. Like Germany, you can name the full side for that. France, you could pretty much do that. Spain, of course, you could. And uh, Switzerland aren't a force really in world football in comparison. And uh, then again, proving on the World Cup 2014, or we. But what I'm saying is, no, there's no reason why we shouldn't have a hundred percent record. We're against teams that are so rubbish. We, that, that Wembley's bigger than their population in San Marino's case so that's why we should be beating them, which we are but what I'm saying, when we come up against Germany, Spain, France, Portugal our bogey team in tournaments when we come up, come up against them in Euro 2016 what's going to happen? we've come into the games with the whole campaign based on teams that people don't even know where, they, where the country is so we need, well, we need some friendlies against big teams, to be honest, and um, we can't just keep on playing and getting a 2-0 two two win against Estonia. That's just, I'd say it was out of order. I mean, you should be beating them 4-5. Fair enough, switch them, yeah, beat them 2-0. But these are, these are small teams. Can, can you imagine how competitive Euro 2016 groups would have been? if you had all the big teams in one group, but then I guess when it comes to the real tournament, it'd be really easy. But what I'm saying is, you need some like big teams to practice against as well. Uh, congratulations to Wales, Northern Ireland, and uh, still waiting on, can Republic of Ireland still qualify? I don't know. Scotland can't, that's a shame, because they did a uh, draw with Poland, which I thought was pretty good, and that goal was absolutely insane. So, uh, whilst I'm here, I might as well, just show you what I've done to my room. Got some new uh, shirts up here. That one up there is my this season's MK Don's one. That one there is uh, I think two seasons ago um, LA Galaxy. That is a messy one I've had for a long time. And this one I found the other day. Look at that. It's an Aiden. It's the England shirt from 2007. Well, that sort of era, you know. And then we've got Danny Powell from last year. And then this Gibraltar one that I got about 18 months ago when I went on a trip there to play some cricket. 